evening folks, uh, welcome back to another uh, in-depth modifier discussion. Okay, so I did actually do this video yesterday and I did upload it, but um, something went wrong with the mic and there was no audio at all on the video, so I do apologise about that. So today's video is going to be the UV warp modifier. So once again, um, you know, this is going to be a discussion um, going through um, exactly what each thing on the UV warp modifier actually does. So this is the UV warp modifier, it's this little guy here. And once again, I'm just going to go through the little script that Blender has provided us with. I do apologise. Sorry about that, uh, drinking too much um, fizzy juice. So yeah, I'm just going to go through this uh, this little script and um, if I can try and have a play around with it, then I will. Okay, so the UV warp modifier uses two objects to define a transformation which is applied to the chosen UV coordinates. So choose two objects from and to. So just to, this is probably not going to work, but you know, I'm just going to put two, oops, uh, along the Y it is. Two little objects in, name that MT, um, MT, left, and then, MT, right, just so we can see, that's the left, that's the right, cubes in the center. Okay, so from left to right. Now this is not it's not gonna work because I haven't got any UV map in place or anything like that. Um in fact let's see if we can actually go into here uh, smart UV project. Okay. So that's how you'd unwrap it's the easiest way of unwrapping anyway. Um you can mark seams and unwrap it in your own unique way of whichever way you'd like to do it. Um so we go into okay, so there's my UV um unwrapped. So if I just open um and uh textures I'm just gonna go for that there. Okay, um and then I believe that we can actually save image. Um, I you know what I I I haven't been this far through it so, um, okay yeah actually that's the UV map there's the UV map, so if we now go to texture yeah okay that's on there, okay um that part worked then <laughs> wasn't expecting that to work but um it did, so you know this this is just trying to I'm just trying to give you a little bit more of a in depth thing of this, um of this modifier. So yeah, I mean yeah, it's, it's not really gonna work. Um it's not gonna do what I want it to do, but hey ho. You know, that's how you use it. You you you, you do have to have a UV map in there. Okay. So its purpose is to give you direct control over the object's UVs in the three D view, allowing you to directly translate, rotate, scale existing UV coordinates using controller objects or bones. Okay, so uh, again, it's, it's probably more useful for animation this. Okay, so we have UV center. The center point of the UV map to use when applying scale or rotation with 0, 0 at the bottom left and 1, 1 being at the top right. So, let me just go back into solid. Zero zero is bottom left, one one top right. By default it sets at zero point five, zero point five direct in the center. Okay, yeah, nothing happens there at all. So then we have UV axes. The axes to use when mapping the 3D coordinates into 2D. From and two the two objects used to define the transformation. So 
that would be my two empties as I've picked up there. Uh, that's where that's what that'll be. And then you have UV map, which UV map to modify defaults to the active rendering rendering layer. Okay, you know, um that may have looked like I knew what I was doing then, on that, uh, doing the UV on map, uh, applying the texture and stuff, but I don't. <laughs> um, that was just a few little things that I just I actually learned today, um, because I'm wanting to learn it, so I'm just having a look at a few things whilst I'm going through all these modifiers, just to try and, you know, provide better tutorials, um, do better things. But, you know, th them tutorials will come along, and by the end of this, I will know pretty much everything and know how to do stuff on this and we'll start getting into really complex um, tutorials of doing stuff. Okay, so the usage. How the UVs are warped is determined by the difference between the transforms. So location, rotation and scale, they're the transforms. So basically, translate, rotate, scale. And as you can see, data transforms. Now, it doesn't actually say mirror on there. Um, not sure why, but that's one of the transforms. So maybe this modifier just doesn't work with that. Um, on the other hand, you can also use the mirror modifier. Okay, um, if the two object has the same transforms as the from object, the UVs will not be changed. Assuming the UV axis of the modifier is X and Y and the scale of the objects are 1, 1, 1. If the two object is one unit away from the from object the on the X axis, the UVs will be transformed on the U axis horizontally by one full UV space, the entire width of the image. So, you know, that it's not going to be a long tutorial. Um, because unfortunately I can't really show you exactly how it works but you know once again it's a little discussion about it um, you know and in the comments if you want to leave a little comment and give me a little bit more information on that I am literally just copying from Blender's website at the moment um, so if you want to give me a little you know um, maybe a link to someone's page where they're actually using it I can see how it's used I can do my own thing with it and maybe do a new video um, but you know all these modifiers here all these modify modifiers I will be redoing them again so you know the other ones will be like part two or something like that um, and I will be using all these properly once I've gone through all of these and I know exactly how to use that everything on Blender and um, once I actually find a use for these modifiers I will definitely be using them uh, there is a few videos out there that might show you but what I could see there's not many videos at all that shows you how to use these so yeah, um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we have got two subscribers now on the page, which is really good. Um, not as high as you know some people may have, but for me, I'm happy with that. Um, next, it will be the Vertex Weight Edit Modifier. And yep, until then, thank you very much, folks.